starting the courses. Now, the reason why branding is critical to me is because my businesses have been able to survive, have been able to start, have been able to get people talking about them because of the branding that I have done for them. So I want to share that experience today with you guys. I want to tell you how to develop a brand, how to start a brand, how to get the real most effective name that you need for your new business, all right? So welcome, and if you have any questions, please, if you have any comments, please use the chat, and I will try my best to answer any of your questions. Okay, so yes, let's start with a uh, branding and, and, and why branding is important. We are living in an economy that is all about attention. If people doesn't know what is the name of your business, if, peop if, if, if people don't know, don't realize what is your own name, then you are in troubles. You don't have then an identity. And guys, the reason why an identity is so important is because if we don't have an identity, you know what will happen? People will define you instead. And you don't want that. You don't want you don't want people to define who you are. You know, you want you you, you want people to to listen uh, who you are. So so that is something that is, that is extremely important. I want you guys to have your own identity so people do not define who you are. All right, so let's talk about the first element of the branding component. The first element of a branding component is the brand name, all right? So the brand name is how people will refer to you when they, when, when they describe your company. So the brand element, called brand name is the step number one in branding is the step number one in branding you want to get a name that represents your brand to best advantage all right i'm going to repeat this you need to find a name that will represent your brand to best advantage what does it mean? What does it mean to best advantage? It means that people will be able to recall your name. It means that people will recall your name. It means that people will recall, remember your name. So, in my particular case, with this business, the brand name is School of Digital. That's simple. School of Digital. I think, seriously, that people will be able to remember that name in a very easy way. Why? Because it's different, but also because it's very simple to remember. I have developed on top of that brand name an icon, and that icon is sort, which is what you can see in the screen. So, I have an icon and that icon, in my particular case, is sort. And this icon is what I use in social media. This icon is was what I use in Instagram and in YouTube. But the brand name is a School of Digital. So it is important to have this combination when you develop branding for your startup. It is important that you have a brand name, how, how it sounds, you know, when people refer to you, that is very important. But it's also very important to have an icon. A, a, some people call this a logo, but it's not a logo anymore. It's much simpler than that. So logo types right now are not that needed. And I'm going to tell you why. Because social media changes the game. Social media is asking for very simple very flat representations of your graphic identity. Social media, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. When you create a profile, a business profile for your brand, they will ask you, hey, you know, give me your icon or give me your logo. 
What does it mean that you need to provide a very simple graphic that will represent your brand name to best advantage? So in my case, that icon is, you know, SOD or SOD, very simple to recall as well, and is representing the name of my business, which is School of Digital. So, so far, what, what have we learned in this free class? That for branding to happen, so far, you need to have two elements in place. Number one, branding name. Number two, the icon, all right? But that is not enough. You need to add a little bit more to it. And what is that little extra to it? Guys, that is the slogan. That is the slogan that represents your business, all right? So in my case, in my case, is how to start your first business. So School of Digital, how to start your first business, your first business. That is the core of my slogan. So try to find out a song that you can condense in a sentence, a story that you can condense in a sentence that represents your brand. And that is the slogan. In the case of Nike, for example, which is a very um, well new um, brand exercise, the exercise is like this. So for Nike, you have the brand name, and that brand name is Nike. But you also have an icon. And what is that icon? The tick. And what is the slogan? Just. Just do it. You see how simple it is? So what I'm trying to get you across today is that for your startup to operate in a market, you want to have an identity. You don't want people to define who you are. You want an identity. And that identity is the result of these three things. The brand name first, the icon, and also the slogan. 